It's the first of three races here. Over in Brooklyn, it's the Belmont Stakes, the last leg of the Triple Crown. And we've got no, no horses able to complete the Triple Crown here today. But we do have the Derby winner, Barkston Daily for Davy Lad. We've got Dan's Watchers, Steve Ran, Lopinot Cheetah for Davy Lad. Sea of Tranquility, Paul Rhodes, Song of Exile, Leon Van Rensburg, Speedy Fix Regarded, Craig Allen, Dakar Girl. The Bridesmaid so many times for Dan Hughes, Francesca Cumani for Dan Hughes, McGull, Darren Thompson, Monumental Paul Rhodes, Out of Control Obi-Wan and Sugar in a Plum, Joshua Sutherland. And they're off and running here in the Belmont. So plenty of these horses have featured in the Kentucky Derby. We've got the Kentucky Derby second and third in the lineup. We've got the Derby winner. We've got horses who came so close in the Oaks, in the Prix de Jockey Club, the Prix de Diane. So many good horses here, but what will win the Belmont Stakes over 12 furlongs here? And it's Sugar in a Plum that's gone out into that early lead here on the dirt track at Belmont. Or Joshua Sutherland has a lead of around four lengths to Sea of Tranquility, out of control on the rail. Nearest the, the camera shot, we've got Lopinot Cheetah, that one's racing on the outside of Boxton Davy, Speedy Fix regarded, and McGull's just in behind those. Francesca Camani, the grey horse in the all, green, uh, all blue silks, uh, just trying to make make sure she doesn't get blocked out there, and the Song of Exile over towards the rail, Dakar Girl, and uh, Monumental in the back marker is the other grey horse, Dan's Watchers, as we're inside the final mile, and swinging left-handed here, and Sugar in the Plum. It was quite slow coming around that bend and it allowed Speedy Fix regarding Sea of Tranquility to move forward and close the gap ever so slightly. But Sugar in a Plum still travelling strongly. Still has a few lengths advantage over Speedy Fix regarded Lock and Cheetah moving up on the outside. Barkston Daly, uh, the Derby winner, over towards the rail at the moment and about to move through into second place. For Davy Lad, Francesca Kumani's getting ever closer. And looking towards the rear of the field, Song of Exile's already being bustled along and perhaps something's amiss there because Song of Exile is going backwards and is suddenly detached from the rear of the field. So Leon Van Rensburg's runner is in all kinds of trouble as we're in the last four furlongs. It's still Sugar in a Plum in the lead. Lopin or Cheetah, Barkston Daly, the Derby winner still travels strongly. Speedy Fix regarded moving forward as well. Song of Exile has indeed pulled up. So we're inside the final three furlongs. Sugar in a Plum is now about to be tackled and passed perhaps for the first time by Speedy Fix regarded from the Craig Allen stable. Out of controls trying to run a bit race monumental getting into this as well Lopinot Cheetah Barkston Daly is now starting to stay on as well Dan's watchers from the rear of the field Sea of Tranquility as well Dan Hughes's runners have looked to have been a bit outpaced there as we hit the furlong marker and it's monumental now tackling Sugar in a Plum who has been battling on really well Barkston Daly's trying to get going but it's Sea of Tranquility trying to chase down stable mate monumental but nothing's going to catch this monumental wins the Belmont Stakes as easy as you like and complete a 1-2 for Paul Rhodes. The Sea of Tranquility comes in second place there. Some training performance that. A 1-2 in the Belmont Stakes. A monumental win it easily in the end. Powered away from him in the final furlong. Sea of Tranquility, more fancy than the better of the two Paul Rhodes winners, has to settle for second place. But the trainer will be delighted with that 1-2. And Barkston Daly, the Derby winner, follows it up. With a third in the Belmont Stakes, out of control, ran a massive race for Obi Wan in the fourth, and Sugar in a Plum, the long-time leader for Joshua Sutherland, completes your top five.